only way I know I'm paying for it, I'm changing for it Thought they put my life on hold Thought I knew something they didn't know I know myself and must have ever fooled Dark clouds are moving past you Oh, you gotta love yourself Cypress, strong, beyond all definition, still define place and time and circumstance. Bold, confident, indestructible. Look on me and be renewed. I am every woman, tall as a cypress, strong, beyond all definition, still defying place and time and circumstance. Bold, confident, indestructible. Look on me and be renewed. I am Beloved Cosmetics. Hey guys, it's Kiara M from Mad Flavor TV. I'm standing next to Shantae Moore. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Good. You look beautiful. Thank you. I feel good. You, you look good. Now, my question has to come from the, the single lifestyle, right? Okay, how are now, you I'm able? Now. How are you able to? Are, are you dating? Are you bouncing I back? Hate. That's hard for me. I've been single for three years. Three. I was in a relationship for seven years, <laughs> but three, like. You know what? It's slim pickings out there. I will say that because mm -hmm. it's ten to one on women to men. Um, what I would say is prepare yourself. And I think that's really what I've learned in the last seven years of being single myself is that I need to be happy just being by myself and not be looking going, is he the one? Oh, Lord, is he the one? Oh, he's nice. He's cute. Ooh. You know, <laughs> focus eyes on here, you know, and make this place happy. Do all you can do by yourself because you will attract to you what you need. But making sure you take care of yourself. Absolutely. Now, new music. What can we expect from Shantae Moore? Well, I have a single out right now. It's called Real One. Mm -hmm. It's 13 on the charts. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody who's played it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, it's coming from a forthcoming album called The Rise of the Phoenix. That comes mm -hmm. September the 9th. September 9th. And September who have you worked with? Little Ronnie kind of took over everything. Mm -hmm. um, he's a great producer, and actually, we had so much fun 
went back in the studio and I recorded a, a Chris, Christmas album. So that'll be out in October. It's called Christmas Back to You. Look out for that. You're going to be flooded with Shantae Moore all year. Absolutely. Married but single. The play. Oh, yes. I'm like, yes. yes. I'm not married. I'm the, single. The yes, that play. was fun. It was fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bill Bellamy, Lisa Ray, McCoy, mm -hmm. um, uh, Carl Payne, yes. and oh, oh, Lamaya Good. Yes. It was so much fun. Lamaya. We how was it. So how was it working with them? And what's it one piece wonderful. of advice or just something that you've learned, you took away, that you use to this very day? From that? From them. Anybody on the cast. Hmm. That it's okay to be spontaneous, which I knew. Um, I'm trying to think if there's something I learned that was fresh. I, what I love, though, is that we all got along well mm -hmm. on stage and off. I love that because real life is what it's all about. That yeah. stuff you put on in the makeup and the hair and the glitter and all that stuff, that's a moment. Yeah. When people are kind when they don't have to be, mm -hmm. that's when you're good people. Humble. You don't have to be humble. Be kind. Yeah. You don't have to, your head can be as big as it wants to be. Yeah. But if you're kind to the people next to you, the people you work with, the people you have to interact with, that to me is a, is a sign of being great. Absolutely. Who are you most excited to see perform tonight? It's Girls Night. I know, and I missed, I missed the queen mm -hmm. last night. I really mm -hmm. did. I'm mad I missed the boss. Um, mm -hmm. Diana Ross. I wish I could have seen her because I love her. Um, of course, Barry tonight. I want to see Jasmine Sullivan with her singing self. So, um, I'm really happy for um, 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 Solange that she has formed this whole road for herself. I love it. I know how it feels to have siblings who are different than you, but still good, and you have that thing happening. So I'm glad she's forged a road for herself. Um, so I want to hear all of them. Is this your first time in New Orleans? Heck no. My dad is born here. So, so listen, yeah. what's good to eat here and uh, where? Tell me. I heard about. I heard about some. I heard about some turtle soup yesterday. You can have that turtle soup. Um, I don't know nothing about no turtle soup. Um, but I do love bread pudding. I don't know where to find the best bread pudding, but every time I come, I eat like a pig. Mm -hmm. And I love it. So Absolutely. I'm ready to eat. Thank you so much. Chante's ready to eat, go to sleep, and enjoy New Orleans. Hey guys, it's Kiara and Matt Flavor TV, still here at Essence Festival 2017. I have the pleasure of standing here with Bryshia Gray. How are you? I'm good now. Good. You absolutely rock that stage downstairs. Welcome back. What's changed for you? We know new addition, all of that, but what else has changed for you since last year? Uh, life, life, more money, <laughs> more success. Uh, just getting connected with God. I'm connected. I'm getting connected. Getting connected? How now? You know, I love God. Yeah, yeah. So getting connected? How? Like, what are you doing? What are the steps that you're taking? Like, are you talking to him? We're going to church. Yeah, you got to talk to him. You got to talk to him more. You got to connect. You got to read Bible. Stuff like that. It's a lot, cause fame, especially your thirties, got thirty million people. Yeah, it's changes. Yeah, it's crazy. You know how it is, baby. You famous. You, you look beautiful. I know people are like, hey, girl, come here, girl. It's the same thing. Thank you so much. Now, how important is it your presence being here at at Essence Music Festival, Amer African American women dominating, especially tonight's concert? So, how important is it for you to be a part of this? I want to sit back and just watch the women dominate. Watch them dominate. Watch uh, Lauren Hill, she performing, something like that. Watch her perform. So Brandy hit me up. I think she performing. So seven, yeah. So we going, we going, we going to have some good shows tonight. I'm performing. I performed already. Yeah, you I performed. Did. I, I said you killed me. I ain't did on the main stage though. But it was all good. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we, we could work something out. Yo, Essence, Essence, talk to him. Talk to him. put me on the main stage next year, man. <laughs> yeah. Now, Empire movies give us an exclusive what can you tell us that you have coming up immediately right now the canal street movie comes out then you got sprinter and you got a uh, honey four with tiana taylor that comes out in theaters that's gonna be lit yeah. it's different acting and doing music like what's the the major difference for you? uh acting is like more so uh personal and then you got the music which is fun it's just your lifestyle you're rapping about your lifestyle yeah. thank you so much i know you gotta go Hey guys, it's Kiara M. with Mad Flavor TV, and I am sitting down with my favorite cast right now, the cast of The Have and The Have Nots. Listen, I'm obsessed with the show. I'm not even joking, right? So I've watched the evolution of each and every one of your characters. Some good, some very evil, right? So <laughs> what's that process been like for each one of you? Um, I mean, I think the process is different for everybody. Uh, I know, I know, at least for me and my character, um, it was really, it was really uh, rewarding and interesting to see him go from, you know, being just his, uh, you know, his mother's son, to you know, finding his own way, you know, clashing a little bit with Candace, you know, and trying to figure out his own, um, you know, path as a man. 
So it's been it's been rewarding because again we don't watch dailies or anything, so we uh you know we're going through the roller coaster in real time with you guys on Tuesdays. So it's been fun. Yeah. I was like, Vinny, stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I mean definitely uh, my character has evolved um, from from one level of of crazy, crazy to another. Um, it's the most fun to play. I'm I'm having the best time uh, playing this character, and you know I guess the only thing that I always say to people, Veronica's um, her main um, her main vice is that she is controlling. All of it comes from being controlling, and I really think that that level of controlling behavior, when no one is doing what you say, <laughs> it will drive you crazy. So I I kind of understand the whole over the edge. Uh, place that Tyler is taking her um, and for me yeah it, even with the the season that we just shot um, I was so pleased to see my character come into his own and just own the life that he wants for himself and um, you know I, I'm glad Tyler Perry's the one writing it because if it were me it would have been a commercial I'm like no he has to stand up to her next <laughs> episode two <laughs> he stands up to her. but um, he's found a way to slowly I think for all of our characters, just let them unravel and find their own and, and fall down and get up and just slowly start to figure it out. So there's all these branches out, but yet we're still all connected to each other. So um, I'm really I'm really glad to see it see it happen. And, and Angela, this question is going to be for you. As an African-American woman, how important is your presence and the presence of this show here at Essence this weekend? Well, I definitely think um, my presence uh, is important, but not just my presence, the presence of all the ladies here that can see one another and appreciate the differences that we have, but also appreciate that we are all alike, that the melanin is popping mm -hmm. for all of us and that we're all on this path to our best self. So I just think seeing each other and the love, the love that I feel here is just so great. It, I, I mean, more than me being here, but all of us being here together is what's important. Absolutely. I'm not going to keep you guys long. What's the one performance or person you guys are excited to see or even just connect with this week? Oh, you, you have to go first. <laughs> Diana Ross. My whole life. I, I, you know, I, I wanted my whole life. I wanted to be mahogany. You know, just this uh, Lady Sings the Blues all of, from the Supremes back back then. So I'm just, I, I can't even right now thinking that I'm gonna see her tonight. Uh, for me, it's um, Indy Ari. You know, she's so soulful, she's so uplifting. Um, and just, I, I just, I, like I put her CD in and let every song play. And it's just, she just has a, an amazing sound that's just unique to her. What about you, Tyler? I mean, I don't wanna throw a curveball. But I heard Master P was coming out. Oh yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be there listening to Master P. You know. <laughs> hey, you asked me. So come on, they love Master P too. And I like and I like Diana Ross and them too. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. These are just iconic, you know, moments. Thank you guys so much. You're amazing. Thank I you love this show. Thank you. I'm standing here, Essence Festival 2017 with Roy Wood Jr. How are you? Yes, doing? I'm good. I'm good. Excited and ready to start watching these acts. Absolutely. I'm so little compared to you. This is, this is, <laughs> this is hard work. You did an amazing job this morning opening up for Essence Festival. What's this entire process been like? To me, this has been a wonderful opportunity to not only take part in something that helps uplift the spirit of black people, or as I call it, the backbone of the black race, which is the black woman. So to be able to be here and be a part of this on this side of it, on the production side of it, is an honor that I would have never thought would have been bestowed upon. I thought it was a prank call when somebody <laughs> called and asked me to host. Yeah. Considering all the prank calls I didn't done to people, <laughs> I figured it was just payback. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So who are you most excited to, to see tonight? Because you said you need to go home, you need to take your nap, go back to your hotel room, take your nap. Who, do you, who are you most excited to see tonight? I am most excited about Diana Ross. Most excited about Diana Ross, but I'm most anxious to see John Legend. I don't know if that makes sense, but like John Legend, like his music, like that's kind of R&B of my era. 
And what I really like, what I really like, I don't think anybody's noticed this, but they set up Friday night with the soulful singing. Yeah, it's Indy Ari, it's John Le <laughs> You got Diana Ross, it's all that uplifting. Yeah, yeah. Saturday night is ladies night. My advice to the men is that if you on your woman's bad side, Saturday night ain't the night to bother her. Cause when Mary J come out there and start doing that strength of a woman, start doing all them tracks, man, you better have your relationship in order. Absolutely, absolutely. And lastly, what's next for you? Outside of Essence and everything that you have going on, what's next for you, your career? Uh, right now, I'm blessed to still be growing with The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, working as a correspondent, doing our best to shine lights on issues that affect the black community and things that hopefully will bring about some positive change in this country politically. Uh, also, I'm, I'm, host, I'm the host of a new show on Comedy Central called This Is Not Happening, which is a storytelling comedic show where comics get up and tell real stories from their lives. So we'll, that premieres in October. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm blessed to just be working and paying bills, man. Absolutely. Thank you, Roy. Hey, guys, it's Kiara M. with Mad Flavor TV, and I'm standing here next to Colleen. How are you? Great. How are you? Good. Now, you just sang up there, girl. Thank you. All right, so are you working on any new projects? Absolutely. I'm working on my debut EP. Mm -hmm. My single, High Life, is out right now. Mm -hmm. Guys, check it out. Mm -hmm. um, but the EP should be out late this summer. And who are you working with? Any production-wise or art, other artists? My favorite producer, Happy Perez, I'm from Houston. He's also a native Houstonian mm -hmm. and is one of the main producers on the project. So I'm super excited. You ever heard of uh, Queen Brittany? She's from Houston. Just, just Brittany. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. What, what do you think about her music? Have you ever dope. decided to work with her? Super dope. That, that you gave me an idea. There we go. <laughs> I think girl power all the Absolutely. way. Now, how important is it for you to be a part of Essence? Because you're African-American woman, girl. I, just, I feel so great being here. You know, My dad's family's from New Orleans, mm -hmm. so I come to Essence all the time as a fan of music so for me to be performing this year was so special it was such yeah. a beautiful moment for me is this your first essence performing yes oh my god so oh, just what's the Way feeling emotions like yeah. i'm just so excited i'm so happy i, I just so grateful absolutely and who are you most excited to see tonight I mean, I heard India Irie just killed it. I, I heard just that. saw her oh, out yeah. there, and I was like, oh, my God. I love India. Mm -hmm. She was up there killing it. Mm -hmm. She sounded great. Looked beautiful. What about Diana Ross? She's classic. She's iconic. Like, she's the best, you yes, know? Absolutely. Now, who do you look to for musical inspiration right now? I look to everybody. You know, I listen to a lot of country music. I love country really? music. I'm from Houston, mm -hmm. girl. So, yes, you know, country music has a storyline. And so I try to base a lot of my writing um, and my music with a storyline that, that really means something and try to dig deep. Uh, but I listen to everything. I listen to rap, I listen to R&B. I just try to keep my mind open so I don't box myself in. What's it like creating for Colleen? Like, you know, some people have to have people in the studio, other people. I'm going alone. Really? I go in alone and I just vibe out. Mm -hmm. Like I have producers either come in or send me tracks and I just sit in there and vibe out. Okay, and then lastly, how can they follow you? Colleen Cruzo, C-O-L-I-N-E-C-R-E-U-Z-O-T. <laughs> Thank you so much, beautiful. I am sitting here with the very handsome. Go ahead. Oh, you smell to uh, bias, uh, yes. Uh, what's to up, y'all? Bias. bias. <laughs> I'm doing good. You're enjoying your essence? Yeah, I'm having a ball. It's been a great time. A lot of a lot of great people out here having a good time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, how important is your presence here? All these African American beautiful boss women. Mm, I mean, uh, it's as important for me to be here, just as important as it for them to be here too. You know, I, um, it's good to always see the sisters out having a good time, and uh, you know, everyone is out in the bayou, and people are looking great, and having you know, the weather's nice, and meeting and greeting and networking and stuff. So it's really cool. It's real cool. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, Empire. Oh my God, how are things going? Things are good. I mean, it's the all season. They're actually about to p pick up production again really soon. And, um, you know, people would be surprised how long we work. We work from uh, July all the way until March. You know, they spend long hours together, uh, long days. So, you know, it's about, the, it's about that time. We're about to get back into it and, um, you know, put that work in, but enjoying the time while we have off. Absolutely. And what's one big big piece of advice or just something that you learned from working with Lee Daniels so closely? Oh, well, I didn't get a chance to really, you know, have that kind of conversation with Lee, but always, everybody's always bring your A game, you know, bring your A game, 
be ready to go and um you will be called upon so always be prepared and always be um available to the work and see what you know what could come out of that and uh, I will give that advice to everybody that's out there. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Tobias. This is Kiara M. And we're going to check out what my girl Tara is doing. Because I hear she's doing an interview with Marlon Wayans right now. All right. Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's Tara Gates Anderson. We're backstage in the press room with the one and only Mr. Marlon Wayans. How What's you feeling? Up? I'm good. How you doing? doing? Hey, that's nice. She's the personal hero. <laughs> that's what that says. When you you gotta love yourself. You gotta look up to yourself. I, right? I love yourself. Right. I love you. So I'm, you're my personal hero. So tell, <laughs> so tell, so tell us about Naked. Naked. I only uh, get one question. So Naked is a really funny romantic comedy. Uh, it's about a guy that um, is supposed to get married. He's not prepared for the wedding. He goes out for his bachelor party. He wakes up in the elevator, butt naked. Has no idea he got there. He's an hour and a half late for the wedding. When he gets to the wedding, if you don't have the right suit, the right ring, the right vows, he has to start over in the elevator, butt naked, and repeat the same hour over and over again. It's a really ro funny romantic comedy starring me, Regina Hall, Dennis Haynes burst in it, um, uh, 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 Loretta Devine. Uh, just a really great cast of people, and it's a really funny movie on Netflix is free you ain't got a bootleg it people and I'm on to you with the fire stick I'm telling on your ass <laughs> thanks for coming by thank you Check it out. My personal hero. what's up everybody it's Tara Gates Anderson I'm here with the one and only Ayala Van Zandt at the 2017 Essence Festival New Orleans you all yeah. hello Hot how's your experience going hell. <laughs> That's an understatement. I love it. I love it. You know, this is hate your mama for having you heat. This is get ready for hell heat. This is you can't do nothing but be hot heat. And I absolutely love it. I love it. Yes. Yeah. So how is, you know, being here speaking, women's empowerment, and everything going? What is the message you want the women that are here, the families that are here, uh, to take away from being a part of this Essence Festival? You know, I hope that everybody is so touched by the energy of us just all being together, that we find ways to create this more than once a year. That we find ways to create it in our communities, in our homes, in our backyards, because just seeing all of us and smelling all of us and touching all of us, you know, we, we've got to reconnect with how powerful and empowering and precious and beautiful it is for us as a national community to be together. You know, I bring you greetings from the country of Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn, New York, yeah. Okay. So now who are you looking forward to see perform tonight? Are you going to the Superdome? Absolutely. Okay. Who are you looking forward it's to tonight? Cow beef. <laughs> I, I'm here I, I'm here to see Mary J. Blige. Yes. That's it. Yes. Mary the yes. J. the Blige. That's Thanks it. Woman, Is that, yeah. you know, uh, and Jill, absolutely. I, I, you know, India Jill, but I'm, I, you know, I'm a die hard to the core. It. You all heard it. <laughs> Mary J. fan. Okay? Yes. So that's who I'm here to see. Okay. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence Thank and stopping you by to see me. us. Yeah. All right, bye-bye. Well, welcome, welcome to Essence. Wait, are we standing or are we sitting? What are we doing? Look, I, I mean, I would you love to me. sit to get out my feet because my heels not playing today. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got six. Oh, you yeah. got kitten heels on. Kitten mine a little, mine a little bit. Don't big girl heels. heels. <laughs> 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 All right. So, how's your Essence Festival experience been so far? Oh, so we got in yesterday and um, we moved around. I went and saw the movie um, Girl Strip. Oh, how'd you like oh, it? Oh, amazing. What was amazing? What was amazing about it? Everything. And it's give hard me one. Give me a little no, bit. No, I can't, no you got to go see it. Okay, it. I can't. It's hard to say that about a movie. Okay. Everything was great. Okay. The women, absolutely beautiful, absolutely funny. Okay. Um, there were real stakes. You know what I'm saying? Like it was, it was a real movie. Okay. It was real. Like one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. So, so, so after seeing a girls' trip, give me some tips you have for some ladies that are going on a girls' trip. <laughs> um, advice. Advice. If I, here's the problem if I give advice I'm giving you insight into the movie and I don't want to do that I want to make you go see the movie go support our movie go support our people go do it and not just because there are people but because they made an amazing product please Ta take it
is tough, y'all. He like not giving me anything. No, but we're gonna go see it. We're gonna go support. Okay. We're definitely then, gonna go support. You go see it. You talk about me again. And say Tank told me to go see it. Let me tell you how I feel about it. Whoop do whoop whoop whoop. Absolutely. So tell us about when we this Why single cut. I wanna hear about this, y'all. Why you make that face? <laughs> like you've never participated in a win we. <laughs> When we is, um, it's the soundtrack to the aggressive portion of the sexual experience. It can it can get a little, it can get a little aggressive. It can get a little noisy. Okay. Furniture moving. Okay. <laughs> Neighbors knocking on the door. Hey, hey, what is y'all doing in there? That's what when we is about, and. You know, it's 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 that it's that feeling in R and B. You know that 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 sexuality that you know that I kind of love to to present and keep alive. Well, you do it well. You do it well. So now, tell us about your album dropping in September. Um, Savage is coming in September, and um, you know. What's that? Mmm, water. That's my ring that dropped, but I'll No, water just dropped from the ceiling. So y'all set me up. <laughs> I'll dry you off. Go ahead. Oh, y'all. Uh, can we sue the convention center? Because I, I, they got some money. Um, but Savage is the fight for love. Savage is, you know, Savage is not the ignorance. Um, sa savage is rewarding the brilliance. You know what I mean? And, and I think that as hate has this platform and has this energy where they fight they fight for their space every day. You know what I'm saying? We see it in our Instagram comments. We see it in our Twitter comments. Hate is very much and well alive. They have an army. So where's love's army? Where's love, love's savage mentality to fight for itself? We have to adopt that. Okay. And so that's what this album represents. So before you go, mm -hmm. tell us why you listen. And your uh, character in uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm training people. I'm getting people in shape and I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just having fun, man. Uh, McKinley hit me and told me, you know, he had something cool that, he, you know, that, I, that he wanted me to knock out for him. And I said, man, it's done. It's family. So um, I've heard nothing but great things about it. So uh, go check out Illicit, please. Check it out. We're definitely looking forward to it. Thanks for stopping by. I know you got to run, but thank you so much for stopping by. What's up, everybody? We're upstairs. I know it's like fuzzy. <laughs> We're upstairs in the press room at Essence Festival 2017. Y'all know who these lovely ladies are, the cast of Star, joining us. So how's your Essence Festival experience, ladies? Amazing. Uh, so yes. fun. It's Who's so fun. first timer? Oh, everybody's been. Wait, last year. I only talked to you, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we but I'm so honored to get to talk to you guys this year, though. Thank you. So, now last year when, when you all were here, you know, it hadn't launched yet. The show hadn't premiered yet. It was, look, you said it's a little different. Yes. And you, had, you were telling me how you left Pepperdine and you're just yeah. going to pursue your dreams. How has everything changed in this past year for you guys? Wow. Um, I don't know. I've, um, it's been definitely a, a, a change for sure. And we're just kind of riding with the wave. At least I know I am. Um, and holding on tight on this <laughs> busy roller coaster. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's great. We've been getting so much support and love, and we're just taking it all in, receiving it, appreciating it. Um, and, yeah, we love it because what's, what's the show without the fans? You know, they're the whole reason that we're here. So uh, it's just an honor. Our life has changed. I mean, my life has changed in every single possible way. Um, you know, I think this show has brought so many opportunities for us. Um, it's taught us so much. We've used all of our skills in the past, you know, couple years we've been doing this now. Wow, that's so weird. Yeah. And, um, and it's brought us all of these beautiful, amazing fans and, and people who watch the show. And it's awesome. And friendship. And friendship and family. Are always a good thing. So now, as you say, it's brought you a lot of opportunities. What do you all have going on outside of, um, of, of Star or what's coming up, what's in the works, or what you would like to do in addition to Star? And I'm going to hand the mic. I don't sure, want to keep stretching. Sure. Oh, yeah, there. sure. Um, I actually have a film coming out called Above Suspicion with Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones um, and uh, has Johnny Knoxville. Uh, and a couple of other amazing actors, and it's about an inf an FBI informant who has an affair with an FBI agent, and all of this crazy stuff. So, it'll be pretty intense. Not for children. 
No. <laughs> um, well, in addition to f going back to film season two, which we're about to do, um, I've just been writing for other artists, writing music for other artists, and um, seeing that come to life and play out on stage and stuff like that. So that's been really cool for me, and I'm going to keep doing that. Yeah, and uh, I'm a solo artist, so I plan to pull out, put out an EP before season two <laughs> starts. Put that, guys. It's been a long day. Um, so yeah, it's called On One's Own, and I'm just excited to put out, you know, something a little intro to who I am. Uh, it'll be really cool. I just, I just love music, so I'm just doing it for that, man. So, uh, and of course, season two. Close out. You know, you all are such positive young ladies. I follow you on Instagram. My daughter, her friends follow you on Instagram, and I love to see it. And so, what is it you're hoping to, you know, inspire other young ladies to do through not only your roles on Star, but just who you are? And anybody can answer. I mean, it's always been very important to me. I think a lot of people, uh, you know, you can either choose to be a role model or, you know, you don't. And I think I've always been in a mindset where I've wanted to be a person that somebody looks up to. Uh, so many girls and telling my story, hopefully inspiring them and making them want to chase their dreams just like I'm doing. And feeling like there aren't any blocks or walls that will, you know, just block you. And you can do it and you can break the boundaries and screw anything that anybody else says you can do whatever you want to do no matter what you look like or what you sound like anything at all so uh that's all of our messages and um we just want to keep being those girls that other women look up to yeah awesome. thank, you. thank you thanks for coming by have a great day i know it's gonna be busy for you all and i love your rings thank we're doing you. the ring thing thank so you. i totally yeah. love it so oh. <laughs> africa a land of many voices, cultures, and opportunities. People who are innovative and optimistic. And yet, hunger persists in many African countries. It's a problem we can solve. Together, we can support programs that help hungry people in Africa. Tell your pastor. Remember. I am my sister. I am my brother. Recruit new voices. Have faith. End hunger. What's up, everybody? This is Ash Namaste, aka Persian Black Queen, here at the Essence Festival. Now, how can you have a true Essence experience without fashion? Today, honey, we're going to take you guys out and see all the fashions here. We're going to show you what's hot. We're going to show you who's here with their eyewear. And we got some really fun things that are really opening up and introducing themselves for the first time here at the Essence Festival. Stay with me. with Roxy, honey. Let's talk your fashion. How are you? Good, how are you? Yes, what are you wearing, baby? My stylist, add the Ashley look fix this for me. I have no idea what I'm wearing right now. Shout out to Ashley's that are stylists. <laughs> All right. She didn't send me the ads yet. <laughs> okay, a quick question. We, we all remember you from 106 in Park. How can you tell us what you feel the fashion has evolved from that time to now when you're here looking so fabulous? Because you used to rock some stuff now on 106. Uh, they, they like revealing a lot more nowadays than I usually would. So, um, you know, every every generation, every fashion is always evolving. So it's, it's still fun, it's classy. I think men's fashion has evolved more than women's because you see the men like throwing on suits now, looking fly. I like, uh, I like what the ball players are doing. I like Russell Westbrook. I like what Dwayne Wade's doing. 
keep it classy and fly. You know, it's fun. So if you if you had to choose one garment, yeah, like Jay Ellis, it just fly. looks great. Fly. It looks fly, right there, Matt Flavor TV vibe. Fly. fly. <laughs> so if you have to push, on that push thing, right? Like that, right? <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, pump right here, right here. Give me a little bit. <laughs> so basically, if you when you leave the house, what is a piece of garment that you won't leave without? Clean underwear. <laughs> I meant something that you had to layer with. Uh, Let's hope they're clean. <laughs> sunglasses. I always got to fly playing sunglasses. All right. I love that. Yes. Well, hi. Thank you for taking the time out to talk to us a little bit. I love your outfit. Let's get a full shot of this outfit. Let's show that shoe off. Show that shoe off. They don't match the outfit. I only wear them for height. I'm being real. Shout out to the short women looking good with heels. Right, baby? What's up, guys? Ash Namaste, a.k.a. Black Persian Queen here with the Tate Brothers, all uh, right, at the Essence Festival. So, guys, we're here talking about Girls Trip, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everybody is so excited. You, what are you guys feeling right now with the vibe of everybody? It's a great vibe. You know, everybody's feeling really good about it. The buzz is great. People are walking out of the theaters going crazy about the movie. It's the kind of movie that you want to see multiple times. I got my brother Lamar and Ryan down here supporting. Obviously, it's the Essence Festival, so we politicking and doing a lot of stuff right. with some cool brands that are out here, and it's great to see people of color, black people, doing our thing. Now tell me, as brothers, that's very important to me to have that unity inside of Hollywood. What can you tell, uh, you know, young people that's coming up how to work together? What, what is the, the key, the code there? I think unity is the key word. I think that you try to understand one another, speak, communicate, and then find those happy mediums. Um, and then real quick, the fashion in the, in the uh, movie, how can you guys describe it? Because I know it's hot down here, so how did you guys work that out and, and have everything worked out that, you know, make the ladies sexy? Listen, the, the women have this, uh, this is a movie with a bunch of females, so you know, the fashion had to be fly. When people see the movie, you know, people love sex in the city, but when they see girls, they definitely gonna see some high fashion. All right, guys, you heard it here live at the Essence Festival with the Tate Brothers. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Take you. care. Ash Namaste, AKA Persian Black Queen, here with Amaya Scott from Stars, slaying the Essence Festival. Seriously, how are you? I'm great. Great. So we're just gonna talk a little bit about what you have going. Tell me, what was the inspiration on this, honey? Why are you why are you why are you killing us? <laughs> um, like I said, I'm from New Orleans, so it was a homecoming for me. This is um, like, and I just wanted to be over the top, you know. I just uh, wanted yeah, to, honey. to turn it out, so I decided to bring out a red House of CB gown with rose gold accessories. Love it. And you know, the rose gold is what's in right now. That I mean, it's so dainty and everything, and I love it. The, I mean, can we just? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> you know, I, I'm trying to do a little something, you know. <laughs> but I want to get. Let's get a close up on these heels. I mean, rose gold patent leather. Paint. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. I love it. And yeah, the maxi ladies um, wear stockings. <laughs> <laughs> I, let me, so the maxi, I mean, let's talk. To, can you stand up and twirl for me? Get me a twirl, baby. Yes. Slay it. Slay it. I mean, you, you, it doesn't get more classy than this. So who does, who helps you with your style? Is it just you or do you have? I'm like, as of right now, it's just myself. I'm like, you can always call me, honey, because I am a stylist, you know. <laughs> like, I do have friends who help me. My friend Kate Creole styles things for me sometimes. But I'm like, I'm really hands-on with my look. Good, and you should be because you you know what you're doing, honey. So thank you so much for taking this moment. Wow. Well, you know, in the Middle East, we do it three times, so I want more. You give me love. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Ash Namaste, a.k.a. Persian Black Queen, here with Miss Lawrence. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Now, we talked to you a little bit downstairs, yes. right? But I wanted to talk to you about your style, and honey. You used to lay some heads. You still doing uh -huh. it? Um, I am slowly but surely um, wrapping up that part of, of my life. So um, I did, I was a prominent hairstylist in Atlanta. Um, and own and run a, a very well sought after hair salon in Atlanta for 20 years now. Um, but I am now back into the arts and it feels yes. very good. That's my original roots, being a part of the performing arts. And so being back in it at such a major scale with, you know, being a part of STAR, you know, I have to be obedient to that. And um, I have to understand that 
me being in the beauty industry was a part of the process. Yes. And um, I will probably all the beauty industry will always hold a piece of me, and I will hold a piece of it. Yes. Um, maybe a lipstick line, maybe a makeup line, or something down the line. Um, but being in the arts, acting, singing, that is where I am now, and uh, that's where I will be for a while. I, I, I like it. So tell me something on the show, star, by the way, right yeah. here. Okay. Do you ever give any advice on the hair styling that happens for the cast? You know, cast? last season, episode four, we did a big hair show, and Gladys Knight was a part of it, um, and Tiny from Escape, right. who was, it was showing, who was performing tonight, um, they were. She was a part of it. So yeah, um, yeah I, I dibble and dab it. I'm a hairstylist on the show right, okay. and best friend to Queen Latifah because we, you know, the heart of the show is in the salon, which right. is God's blessing salon. So, right. yeah. Okay, so do you ever see yourself as doing a, like a wig line? I know no, now down line do because you know everybody's line. doing the weaves and the yeah. The... I probably won't do a wig line. Uh, no, I, won't. I probably won't do a wig line. And you know you always kept on some shoes, honey. Yeah. You know every time we seen you, you were yeah, strutting. Yeah. I, 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 if you could just give me a strut so we could just see I the, can't the give kick no game. Strut, cause ain't no room well, you could do a little bit. I'm Come on, give me. Let me see. Catch that shoe. Catch the shoe. Catch that shoe. There you go. <laughs> yes, and I love what you have on today Thank as you. well. Could you tell me a little bit about the outfit where, where the inspiration came well, from? Well, I figure we're here in New Orleans, honey. New Orleans is a very colorful city to me. So I thought putting on a, a colorful number, honey, a little flowy number was appropriate. It's yeah. very airy. It's, you know, it gets real right. warm here in New Orleans, yeah. honey. So I thought this was appropriate. Look, his, his hairstyle is giving me inspiration here. Cause I, I might love just, it. I might just cut mine off like this. Do it, honey. And just be free. Do I it. love it. Show your crown. Right. Okay. Cause I, wait a minute, I don't know how I don't know how nice my crown uh, is. <laughs> yeah. All right, so thank you so much for taking the time out to you. talk to me. Thank you for having me. I All appreciate right, thank it. Thank you. you love. Africa, a land of many voices, cultures, and opportunities. People who are innovative and optimistic, and yet hunger persists in many African countries. It's a problem we can solve. Together, we can support programs that help hungry people in Africa. Tell your pastor. Remember. I am my sister. I am my brother. Recruit new voices. Have faith. End hunger. We're back, everybody, here from Essence Festival 2017 with the one and only. Y'all see him in all this, like, sexiness right next to me right now. <laughs> Mr. Ro James, yes, how you sir. feeling tonight? I'm great. I'm great. You're great. feel so good. How's your Essence experience been so far? It's been great. It's been hot. Yeah, it's been hot. It's a little toasty, but it's been good. It's been good. Good vibes, good energy. Meeting new people, you know, telling me how they've heard the music. So it feels really good. Yes, I will admit. I, I put it on repeat. Even when I'm working, even when I'm doing that, I just put it on repeat. Already knew that. Like, That's I think I listened to that 50 to times in a row, right? That's good. That's what <laughs> right, bro? Let yes. me start. <laughs> So, 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 <laughs> so you you did a tweet yesterday mm, about relationships. What I said. Well, I remember like just give me my space. Oh, be honest. Yes, be simple the simple thing. Yeah. So, so what is a what is Ro really looking for when it comes to relationships? I think it's kind of interesting because at this place it's like so hectic for me. I'm moving that I need somebody who's understanding, somebody who's loyal, faithful. No, I got you. We got us. But at the same time, let me have my space to, to get this, you know, so I could get it for us. You know, I don't think that's hard, but, you know, it, it's not that easy. <laughs> all right. Not that easy. At, at all, right. Ladies, did y'all take notes? Did y'all hear that? Notes. Did y'all hear that? <laughs> so to explain your style, like when you wake up in the morning, what's like the first thing on your mind? Like what, I'm, what am I going to wear today? What am I going to put on? Because I'm loving it. And the boots. Thank you. Y'all look you. at this boots hey. real quick. <laughs> it's like real and it's daring and yeah, so, it's so me. Tell us, how would you describe yourself oh man I really everybody asks me that I always say me and I don't really know how to explain it because uh I mean I've grown up everywhere in the world my father was in the military so I had the everywhere you know my family's Caribbean you know my father is from Indiana but my mom's from New York so you know growing up in New York you have to be an individual you got to be yourself so um, for me I just feel like when I wake up in the morning you know when you wake up you feel different ways some days you feel like yeah I want to put on a hoodie just make sure it's a fly hoodie that's you know what I mean like it's just be yourself I really feel that way I like dope things I like uh, things with quality that can last forever that you could wear it 10 years from now and still feel the same way you know quality over quantity all right y'all heard it one more question so what um inspires you when you're writing your lyrics and what, what are you thinking about who do you listen to, to i listen to i mean growing up i listened to a lot of different artists prince 
Donny Hathaway, Stevie Wonder, a lot of old school, uh, a lot of David Bowie. Um, I mix it up, gospel, little reggae, bounty, Bob Marley, you know, Beatles. Um, but when I get in the studio, I just, I want to feel. I want If I feel, then I want to make sure someone else feels too. So my music and my lyrics have to be honest from somewhere that I've been. It has to be a true story. It has to be something that I feel like people, if when you do that, I feel like people connect connect to it, you know, and, you, and it has to have love in it. I uh, recently had the chance to work and sing and open for Stevie Wonder, right? He invited me for his birthday and he told me one thing. He was like, don't take the love out of your music. And it's very important because, you know, talking about love is actually not the popular thing. You gotta be trapping, you gotta have, you know what I mean? You gotta be popping it. You know? So it's like, to be able to do that is just as daring as my style is. It still makes me who I am, just speaking about the things that mean something, so. Thank you, thank you. Learn something that might y'all. So thanks for stopping by to thanks see us. Me. I appreciate it. Targates Anderson here with Mad Flavor TV with the wonderful MC Light, Dr. Lynn. Hey, hey. Congratulations are all around, just like all around for y'all. Like yes. The marriage, the the scholarships you're giving away. I mean, with phenomenal hip hop sisters doing big things. Yes. Tell me, and congratulations on your five-year anniversary with Hip Hop Sisters. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes, yes, thank definitely. You. Now, you honor Remy Ma, mm -hmm. so tell us how you chose Remy Ma, you know, to be honored. Well, it was a collective decision. Uh, president of and COO, and wait a minute, and CEO. She has every title oh, yeah. <laughs> for a Hip Hop Sisters organization. Um, actually threw it up in, in the air for all of us to discuss, so why don't you say? Well, you know, I just believe that um, it's a good thing when you see someone like Remy Ma who has um, basically center stage um, honor someone like MC Light and Queen Latifah and Rod Digga and Moni Love and all those who came before her. Really, for me, it showed me what a sweet spirit she has and it showed me what uh, a posture of respect and honor she has. And so that's what Hip Hop Sisters is all about. It's about redefining the essence of women through unity, empowerment, education, um, and she represents that for us. So we're very proud that she is not only um, our sister, our little sister, but also an ambassador for Hip Hop Sisters because it's all about giving back yeah y'all heard it y'all heard it what, and you all are doing big things a lot of positive things it's always good to see women bonded together to support and promote and uh, help one another why is it so important to always have a presence say at the essence festival at BT you know the events like that yeah well I think it's important especially for someone like MC light I mean we all grew up watching her as light as a rock mm -hmm. and yeah. you know and then acting and so on and so forth but it's just really profound that she's not only been able to stay in the business this long but to stay in insane, okay. right? Yeah. To stay whole, um, to still look good. Yes. Um, and, you know, she's got a, a beautiful um, fiance who is just a wonderful man of God who supports her. And so it's, it's a good thing to be able to see that kind of longevity and to really just be at the tip of the iceberg of where it is that we're trying to go. We're just beginning with the organization. Yeah, we haven't done so where are you all going next? Like, what, what's happening next? The fill us in with that. Oh goodness! Well, lots of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's so much. Uh, but I think the closest thing that's about to happen is the Tales episode. So I'm yeah. starring in a Tales episode next Queen week. Queen of the South, some TV film. We've got a management yeah. firm. Yeah. Yeah, recurring yeah, so. on Queen of the South on yeah. USA Network. So that's fun and um, We're doing new film, music. Development the company. We've got a great team. We've got folks here. Yeah. So we're really building something that will be a legacy and I'm very proud because MC Light deserves it. Yeah. Deserves it. Well, thank you and we represent Lil Mama who's in TV One's movie uh, what is it? When, when Love, Love Kills. Kills. With Lance Gross. Exactly. Tasha. That uh, yeah. premieres in September so we're happy for her. We, we've got so many things on Lots on the stuff. horizon. Just, just black Lots girl magic, y'all. Let me see. Black girl. I'm glad to be in the midst. Oh That's all God. I have to say. So I want to thank you all for uh, stopping by thank to you. see us. Oh, so thank continue you. Continue success. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What's up, everybody? We're still backstage at Essence Festival 2017, but we're in a super dome right now with the one and only Lil Ma. How you feeling, I'm Lil feeling Ma? <laughs> I'm feeling great. How's your Essence experience been so far? My Essence experience so far, I just got here. I got off the plane and I came directly here to see Diana Ross. So I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited to see, you know, everything unfold. Okay. Sounds like it's unfolding without yeah, it me. Is. 
We're going to hurry up. We're going to make it quick. Um, had the pleasure of being on the set with you when you were doing Born in the Game. Mm-hmm. So you have a lot of big things going on right now. Yes. So kudos to you. Congratulations. Thank you. How was it? You know, you're doing when, um, Love Kills. When Love when Kills. Love Kills yep. When Love Kills. Born in the Game. Back yes. to back. And I, MC Light was in here talking about you earlier. Wow. So she mm-hmm. loves working with you. Tell us about how it is working with her. Working with Light is amazing. I feel like she gives me some of the best advice. Um, she's a big sister. And, you know, after losing my mom, I feel like I hold her really closely to my heart as a mom figure because even though she's still figuring some things out, she really gives me what she knows and what she's experienced and, and, you know, things that she feel can help me that's helped her. And I really appreciate her for that. She's a genuine person. I love Light. So how how is it, you know, working on the films back to back and doing all these things that it's really popping off for you? So how's that feel? It's amazing. I'm finally getting the chance to do what I've always wanted to do with acting. Um, musically, people know me for music and, you know, people really received me well when I played Left Eye. And it was important to me to portray her as a human being and allow myself to be whether it was ups or downs. And uh, the work that I put in was appreciated by the fans and, re- and received well. And so I just I thought to myself why not just go full force with it I waited a few years because the movie came out in 2014 and so by 2016 I was just like I really got to go hard with acting because and you're I, doing that and you're definitely doing that now how important is it to be at like the Essence Festival and, and BT and those types of even, type of types of events you know that are focused on black women black girl magic absolutely know? black girl magic it is you know I've struggled a lot growing up you know sometimes people would tell me I'm not I'm not thick enough or my hair wasn't long enough or maybe you know people always challenge me with different things but you know there was always a group of black women in my community who helped me find my voice who helped me to understand that I was beautiful and so to be celebrated for, to be a black woman to celebrate to be a black man it's an amazing thing um, culturally I, I love our music I love our films I love us I love our people that we have in sports and I feel like when we could come out and and just and show our appreciation for each other is, is a powerful thing well thanks for coming to see us and continue success we're gonna be watching yes this is Tara Gates Anderson live from the Essence Festival here with the cast some cast members from Orange is the New Black Miss Adrian Dasha and Salinas welcome to Essence Festival ladies is this your first one yes yes my first one her first one her fifth oh. work okay. yes so what are you? My first as a talent. My first as a talent. Yes. yes. Well, congratulations. Thank Welcome you. back as a talent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you all looking most forward to? You know, while you're here this weekend. I should. Well, I, it's a lot going on. Start the, the concerts, yes. concert, <laughs> food. Yes. Yes. And just the power, it's so empowering. Like, I was in the airport surrounded by so many powerful women of color, you know what I mean? And you just felt like, wow, we can rule the world. Like, whatever's going on, the nonsense right now, politically, I think that we are so strong when we unite and we're in numbers. So I'm so happy to be here. As an Afro-Latina, I'm thrilled to be at my first Essence Festival because you feel the power. You really do. And I'm like... We are powerful when we come together, yes, so we have to we remember are. that. Yes, and you all answered all my questions just with that. Oh, Mr. Lena, is that? No, we're not done. Don't leave. Well, um, so why is it so important for, you know, Orange is the New Black to have a presence here at Essence Festival? Um, it's very important because we are as diverse as the world is, and we've been able to connect throughout the world with regardless of language, regardless of you know physically we're just as diverse as reality and i think that to have essence support us support what we stand for what are creators with genji with the writers the stories that they're being told the discussions that are coming about because of the show is important mm-hmm. not only to entertain but to be groundbreaking and to educate yes it's very important and we've been on the magazine at this point might as well just come to their festival you know <laughs> <laughs> absolutely now there's a lot going on this year on this show what is it you all like most about your characters and what's going on with them on the show I love that Gloria is always the voice of reason you know no matter what she's the, she's the head of the Latina crew the mother the one that wants to keep the peace but you know that she's also fierce and will chop your head off if she needs to but we've seen this season what I'm excited about season five is that we see her vulnerability we see where she goes and the depths that she goes to for her children I think I love that I love the the fact that Genji and the writers this year have focused on that how important 
children are for these women that are incarcerated. We usually, we all, you know, we don't think about their families on the outside and what happens. And this season, I was able to really dive into what I feel is a really important story about women who are incarcerated. And you do it well. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Diana, it's to see her evolution from a daughter to a mother to now, you know, having to give up her child and having to go through all types of what we go through outside of incarceration, loving, <laughs> loving someone, being left by someone, making the wrong choice, being able to grow, loving yourself, understanding yourself, embracing, accepting your family for who they are, dealing with the circumstances dealt to you. Um, I'm very proud of her having to make that decision, not only to give up her daughter, but to actually, I feel like her shooting was, spoiler alert, yeah, she shot, um, <laughs> was her, it was a metaphor for her releasing all her frustration, her build of frustration, and hopefully next season we get to see some postpartum depression, which I'm sensing that she might be going through, yeah. because that's issues that we don't discuss, mental health and, and incarceration. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we tap into that. And I think with Cindy, um, you know, she's always seen as, a lot of people see her as the comic relief in the show. Um, and I, th I feel definitely she has that comedy because I think it, it allows the space for the drama and these beautiful moments that these ladies um, deal with so, so wonderfully to sort of allow the audience to sit back and, and, and take that in. But I think, Cindy, over the last few seasons, you've seen, you know, her motherhood and the denial of that and how she deals with that in this season. Um, she's sort of confronted with that uh, when she has to take care of uh, Suzanne. And so that's, that's an interesting evolution for her, how she can, you know, yes, have the humor, but then have those very vulnerable moments and, and even hide those things, you know, from her closest crew. Love it. <laughs> Love it, ladies. Uh, real issues going on inside and yeah, out, right? right? So thank you for all of the work that you do, what you deliver audiences, um, you know, through the series. So we want to thank you for that. And thank you for coming by to talk to us. Oh, thank my you. gosh. Thank you. So let's go get something to eat. Let's go yes. listen to some music. Yes. Let's go do some dancing. Yes. All of that. So thank you so thank much. Thank you. Lifting me 
All right, cut. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, about time. About time. Who did this thing? It's pretty interesting, you know. I don't want to say whose fault it was, because you know, women are very tempted. But, uh, Like e 